meeting to order. Uh, the December 5th meeting of the Montpelier Design Review Committee. We have one application tonight. I am going to let Meredith review remote meeting procedures and process. Hello, Patty. Hi, Larry. Hello. All right. So um, some of this presentation I'm going to give is really more for anybody who might be watching this media meeting over Orca Media because we live stream it. Um, but some of it will be helpful for you as well. All right. So for anyone viewing this meeting tonight over Orca Media, you can participate in tonight's design review committee meeting via the Zoom platform. Um, you can do this by typing this link here into your web browser, and that will bring you right into the meeting um, once I've pulled you in. And you'll be able to see what's going on on your screen, and we'll be able to see you, and you can talk. Another option is to dial this phone number, and when prompted for the meeting ID, punch in this number. And that way you'll be able to hear everything over your phone, as well as um, participate, talk, ask questions if you want to. If anyone has problems accessing the meeting, please email me at M Crandall at Montpelier hyphen vt.org. I will be monitoring my email throughout tonight's meeting in case someone's trying to get in. Um, we do ask that uh, anyone attending keep your microphone on mute. Um, if you're not speaking, this will reduce background noise. Uh, Patty, Larry, you probably don't have to worry about that too much because you're the only ones on, on remotely tonight. Um, note also that the Zoom chat function should only be used for troubleshooting or logistics questions, anything substantive about applications or other items on tonight's agenda um, should be um, spoken. Um, if something is necessary, it could be potentially emailed to me, but really we prefer stuff, everything spoken. Um, turning on your video is optional. I think that's all we have to talk about for tonight for procedures. Um, in the event the public is unable to access tonight's meeting and I would find this out over my email, then the meeting would need to continue to a time and place certain. And I'll hand this back over to our chair. Thank you for reading us our Miranda rights. <laughs> Meredith uh, writes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I need to get a motion to approve the agenda. I'll move to approve the agenda. This is Martha. Uh, and I'll second. This is Ben. Uh, thank you. All in favor? Martha. Ben. Derek. Uh, the chair has no comments except for apologizing for being late. That was because of Christmas. <laughs> uh, we have one application tonight, 27 State Street. And I assume that Patricia is... is Making the presentation, correct? I'm right here, right here with Larry. Yep. So yeah, if you could just uh, summarize your application. And then if you want me to, I can share images on the screen. Everybody here has, has seen the packet you submitted. But if there's something in detail you want to talk about, I can pull it up on the screen for people. I don't think it's, uh, we don't think it's very complicated. The sign is slightly smaller than what Alavitas was. Um, and it's made, it's, beautiful it's wood it's protected um it was on our our last business which was in osterville massachusetts and um pre-covid and then covid we closed it and the death of my dad we closed the business so we're recreating the business here which is where larry was born and raised and we were raised our kids so um we're back and um steve everett is our landlord in that building and um we just want permission to put the sign back up. And we'll be attaching the sign to the building using the same attachments that Elevita used, which are those chrome there's six stand chrome. standoff bolts. I think there's six of them or eight, six. We'll be using six of them. Two on two on each corner and two in the middle. Of course, with your permission, that is. Mm -hmm. um, you have the colors and again the size. Um I guess the question is any is are there any concerns? I don't have a concern, Patty. I just want to know what 
what kind of businesses are? Oh, sure. Thank you for asking. Um, what, what, our, what our business card reads is a collection of fine gifts, art and accessories focused on natural fibers, fair trade, artisan wares, and the love of socks. So in uh, Mendocino, California, we had basically a sock store. Um, but this is a little more than that. We have um, Larry's a wood turner. And um, so, so I don't know if you're all familiar with the Alavita. So we've taken down a little bit of the yellow wall, put up some gray walls and some slat wall. And we're bringing, we have, we just think socks are soft and easy and they're not, don't have a, a, an agenda in any way. And um, that is um, what we're going to do in there. Okay. Thank you for asking though. And our hope is, ooh, this is a big hope. I um, I currently um, manage the gift shop at the hospital and um, I'm, I'm just heading out because I want to train the, the incoming person. But the hope is, is that we can be open the week before Christmas. Um, for the fun of it also, we, we share that doorway with, of course, um, Capital Grounds. Yeah, with Julia and, and yeah, with Capital Grounds. And they're bringing Santa Claus in um, <laughs> with um, uh, Montpelier Live and the Chamber. I think it's on the 18th or 19th. I'm not having my calendar in front of me. So we were hoping, ever so hopeful, that we would open on the 17th, 18th. We we're working hard to make that happen. Okay. The sign is approximately the same size as the one that's up there. It's smaller. It's probably, as you, you have the uh, measurements from Adrian. I, I think her sign was probably 20 inches tall, maybe 21. Ours is 15. Hers was maybe seven feet long. Ours is six. Current. This is what's going up. Yeah, it's a little bit smaller. And especially the, the height, like you said. Yeah. It's actually hanging in our house here. If you want Larry to take the computer and you can <laughs> see it in person. We were going to come over tonight with it. But I, I, as that I, was her idea. It was my idea because I love the sign. But Larry, this is funny. Larry took a little tumble at the car wash this morning. Oh, come, on. Um, come on, I'm going to tell you because it's icy. Be careful, everybody. He got out of the car truck and then he couldn't stand back up so he's resting a little bit so we wanted to see you all in person but that didn't happen tonight and we live right here off of Berry Street on Downing Street so um we're looking forward to walking to work but any about the sign so please any other questions no I'm Thank good. anybody any question good. no okay I'm gonna go through the sign criteria here The size, location, design, color, lighting. You're not doing any lighting, right? No, ex no, no external of, lighting. Of all exterior signs and design view overlay to be compatible with the buildings and structures of the site and design, that's acceptable. Signing shall respect the original sign placement and sign bands, acceptable. Building has multiple tenants, that's not applicable i guess it is but it not, is but it's it's it, not for this sign it is recommended this uh senate over building entry is acceptable the sign shall minimize damage to character defining features acceptable in masonry buildings fashion will be in the mortar mortar joint not applicable uh Design, color, and typography shall reflect historic presence where appropriate and shall be appropriate scale for the existing building acceptable. Uh, science support structures, not applicable. You're not doing any of that. Lighting fixtures for signs on facades of historic buildings shall not conflict, not applicable. Lighting fixtures, no, not applicable. No lighting fixtures. No. There no, no, I, I don't think anybody have any recommendations. No. Um, all in favor. This is Martha. I say yes. Ben says yes. Eric says yes. Miranda Meredith. <laughs> all you got to do is work with Meredith. Miranda no. Meredith. 
<laughs> so uh, Eric is filling out what we call our recommendation form and he'll record the, tonight's vote on that and sign off on it because they haven't recommended any changes. Um, we'll be able to issue the permit basically as soon as we can plug it into the software. So probably tomorrow or the next day at the latest. Um, would you like us to uh, email you when that's ready and you want to come pick it up or do you want us to mail it to you? Oh, we can pick it up. We're right around the corner. Okay. So we'll email you when that's ready and you'll get a copy of this recommendation sheet. You'll get um, the official permit. You'll also get a blue permit notice card that you'll want to put up in the window at the business um, that is a notice to anybody nearby that you've been granted this permit and that there's a 15 day appeal period um, for the sign. Anything you do is sort of at your own risk, but people would have had to take part sort of in the process probably to appeal and there's nobody here. So, so you're, you're not, are you suggesting we wait 15 days to put it up or no? No, but, but yeah, I think you can go right. But if, if somebody is offended, we would take it down. Obviously if somebody, they not just offended, they'd have to appeal, fi file, file a notice of appeal with me that would appeal the permit to the development review board. So okay. I, I haven't had that happen for a sign since I've been here and I've been here for more than four years. Okay. So. Well, that's, that's great. Thank you all. Thank you for your time. Thank you, thank you and all. good luck with your business. Oh, thank, thank you. you. I hope you all come in. <laughs> Santa Claus thank will you. be there. <laughs> All right. Thank you again. Have a Good nice night. evening. Bye-bye. Happy holidays. Thank you. Thanks. You too. Yep. Uh, does anybody want to make a motion on the minutes for 1121? I, this is Martha. I'll move to accept the minutes the way they're written for, for November 21. Just want to make sure I was here. Yes. It was. Yep. Oh, yeah. That was. I'll second that motion. Do I hear a motion to approve them? Yes. Martha. I did. Yeah. Ben. All in favor, Eric says yes. Martha says yes. Ben says yes. The minutes are approved. Oof. Any other business that anybody wants? Except for attendance in the calendar in the next meeting. Yep. So next meeting, December 19th. I don't have any applications right now, but we the deadline for that is this Friday. So we'll see okay. what we get. Um, I think it's this Friday. Uh, and then, yes, you all should have the 2023 calendar. If anybody needs an emailed copy, let me know. Um, we only have one meeting in January. Okay. And on that, I move to adjourn. Thanks, everybody. I'm going to declare adjournment. <laughs> You're not going to let me second? No, because I can, if I can open the window meeting, I can sure close it. All right. <laughs> That's how you run HPC. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 547. Nice job, everybody.